Hi, I'm Dr. Naveen. I'm a gastroenterologist and a transplant hepatologist. Um, today, I'm going to talk about liver transplant. Um, the common question people ask about is how long do people live after liver transplant? Now, um, I'll tell you briefly about what liver transplant is. It's basically removing the non-functioning or uh, which uh, is not working liver and then you put a new liver into the body, into the, into the uh, human body. And there are different types of liver transplant, cadaver transplant and live donor transplants. So cadaver transplant is basically people who unfortunately die of, for example, road traffic accident, they are otherwise fit and well, liver is working well. We take all of that liver and transplant into the the person, the recipient who needs the liver. The live donor transplant is basically we take part of the liver from the from the relatives of the uh, recipient or the, or the or the patient, and we take part of the liver and then we transplant it. Now the beauty of liver is it regenerates. It's uh, you know if you leave about 30, 40 percent of the liver, it will regenerate to 100 percent. So for example, the, the, the person who we do the liver transfer, we take 40% of the liver from uh, a donor, in next two to three months, that liver will regenerate to 100%. At the same time, the, the recipient or the patient who receives the, the 60% liver, that also regrows to 100% in two to three months. So in other words, by three months, both the patient, the recipient and the donor will have 100% liver and working functional liver. So that's the, the advantage of a liver transplant. Now, the liver transplant, came into existence probably about 40 years ago and science have seen a revolution in the transplant uh, uh, success. Uh, previously, when you talk about 30, 40 years, when we didn't have good immunosuppression drugs or drugs which uh, uh, reduce rejection rates after the transplant, they have significantly improved the outcomes. And also we are getting more sleeker in terms of the transplant uh, surgery itself and also the pre-op care and also the post-op care. So on an average internationally in a good transplant center, the outcomes that we expect normally now these days are, so we talk about one year survival rates, five year survival rates and a 10 year survival rates. Okay. So one year survival rates, we expect about 96 to 97%. Uh, in other words, if you do transplant for 100 patients, about 95 to 96 of them are still alive after one year. Similarly, the five-year survival rates we talk about is about 85% and 10-year survival rates about 70%. So it's an excellent uh, surgical procedure where we can actually save the life of these patients. Now don't forget, we only um, refer these patients for liver transplant for patients who desperately need liver. Okay, so the, the, often the, the criteria that we use is what happens to this patient if we don't do transplant in the next one year? If the prediction says that there's more than 50% chance that this patient will not be alive after one year, um, that means this patient needs liver transplant. So you take those patients and if you imagine their outcomes, their survival rates, it's a huge uh, uh, advantage and a, a huge benefit to the patients. Okay, and you also should look at how many of these patients in the 10 years down the line will be alive um, and in 10 years down the line. So you wouldn't expect 100 patients to be alive, right? They can have strokes, they can have heart diseases, or even they can have road traffic accidents. You can't expect the, the same patient will be alive in the next 10 years for a 100% uh, chance. So if you look at, if you discount all those things also, liver transplant is the outcomes are are similar to any surgery these days. That's because of good uh, medicines, good patient selection, sleeker techniques of the surgeries, and also the post-op care. So liver transplant, don't get worried that, oh my God, this is a big surgery. How, what are the outcomes? Will I be alive? There are excellent outcomes. Please look at the high volume centers where liver transplant is done successfully. and. Uh, and then you work with your with your hepatologist, with your liver specialist, um, so that you get the better results. Thank you very much, viewers.